Hello there, my name is Linda, also known as Torta Jala around the internet. I love creative journaling and all things stationary. And today I wanted to share a very quick video to try and gather your thoughts and opinions on the question of how many journals is too many journals. So let me explain. I've been on a decluttering and general cleaning up kind of uh, my physical space journey as much as possible and it hasn't been easy in this area of stationery and journaling because not only do I have a lot of supplies, I also have many many journals. A lifetime really but well over 10 years of just the more creative journaling stuff and it all adds up and takes up a lot of space. I have all kinds of journals, all sizes, store-bought, handmade, um, and I came across this particular box of old journals from my very much like creative journaling, semi-mixed media phase, and it's nice to flip through them, but certainly they're not so precious like my memory-keeping scrapbooks, so these creative journals, they're really just a mishmash of explorations and artful expressions over time. Even though there are certain pages and spreads that I really love, I'm not that attached to them. I probably wouldn't be very sad if these journals got destroyed or thrown away, and I am very tempted to just trash everything and start afresh, because I feel very much in limbo right now, wanting to do more journaling and creating more, but then I already have like all this baggage, all this stuff just weighing me down, and I feel like I need to get rid of things to make room for the new. And I know some people are in the camp of like, never destroy your old journals, it will be something to look back upon. But there's just the reality of just not having enough space and perhaps not wanting the clutter, right? We actually do have a very big attic space in our house right now, but it is already full of junk and I haven't even gotten there in my cleaning. So. I don't know, I just wanted to share some snippets of my flipping through these old journals and you can see, um, and I just wanted to know what you think about this journaling hobby and not even the supplies but the end product of having so many journals and what to do with them. And I can understand that memory keeping journals definitely seem more in the category of like safekeeping because their memory is pictures of loved ones and chronicling your life. But the creative journals, I'm starting to think it's just a byproduct of this process of experimenting, practicing, and experiencing like the creative process. Although I know artists obviously keep their sketchbooks because they want to see, you know, their progress over time. But I don't know, I'm just not that attached to the end product maybe, um, and it's rather the process that is more important. Those are the thoughts that have been on my mind. And I've actually already shared a flip of one of these mixed media journals on my channel. I can definitely record flip throughs and then get rid of the journal, maybe take some pictures so I have it digitally. Um, I can even rip apart the journals and only keep the pages that I feel I want. So what do you think about this topic? How many journals do you have and how do you store your journals? And thinking forward, do you see yourself like five years, 10 years, 20 years ahead still holding on to all your journals? I would love to hear your feedback on this topic and hopefully figure out what I'm going to do moving forward uh, myself. So thanks so much for watching and listening. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you didn't know, I am a graphic designer and there are links below the video of all my various things online where you can learn. I'm building a community on Ko-fi where you can go and get printable downloads that I have designed and support me there. I also have a blog on tortajala.com and I've been posting free digital downloads for years and years there so go check it out for free digital papers and embellishments for your creative journaling, planner decor, and memory keeping. I appreciate your support. Thank you again and until next time.